Guardian next, androgynous fashion from Kenya. Ben, this is something we can all sort of feel a bit more is in our wheelhouse. <laughs> sure. Uh, a, a, apparently a growing number of Kenyan sort of fashion labels are embracing genderless fashion uh, as a younger, more uh, vocal generation calls for greater inclusivity and creativity in clothing design. So mm. uh, it's quite a major issue in Kenya, uh, this, because uh, sadly homophobia and transphobia are right. extremely prevalent. Yeah, David Icke. Oh, right, yeah. So, Inspired um, boys. So there's calls here in Kenya for more non-binary fashion, but I wonder what non-binary fashion is. It's described as genderless fashion, so yeah. I'm thinking uh, the tracksuit. Yeah, is, yeah. Is there is quite example. a lot of that already, really, isn't there, to be yeah, fair? I mean, women is. have been wearing trousers for quite a while. Yeah. I, th I suppose, is it just Apart stuff that disguises around. the shape of the body, is it? The thing with the, uh, the fashion industry is it's always like trying to trying to demonstrate its, uh, its bona fides, its, you know, its moral. And it's just so immoral. I mean, yeah. it, it will do anything to sell clothes. It, you know, its models used to be heroin addicts. Yeah. And, it, and it literally made that look chic, to have about 3% body fat and massive dark rings around your eyes to look as if you've been... And it's made you know, for pence in a sweatshop. Yeah. Or by as children. close to a sweatshop yeah. as they can yeah. get, or by Uyghur slaves. And they nick the all Chinese their government. ideas from kids on the street who just invent stuff with a meagre budget and go to charity shops and, and cut things up, and they get all well, their ideas from that, and then it goes on to the... On to the I mean, talking of genderless fashion, um, you and I, probably not you, you're much younger than us, but uh, remember the 1980s? Yeah. Uh, where there was, you know, we had Boy George, didn't yeah. we, in the New Romantics? Absolutely. And there yeah. was an awful lot of And a lot of that. that started at the street level as well, didn't it? And then the next thing you know, Givenchy and Chanel have got people walking down the cat. Well, it's, it's an absolute... I despise the fashion mm. industry, really quite It's strongly. coming across. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not just in the way I choose to dress. Yeah. That's why you choose to take part. <laughs> that's, that's why you have a Panamanian tailor. His last... <laughs> Get yourself one good tailor and you can buy any jacket you want in Oxfam and have it made to measure you know, <laughs> straight off the bat. It's a fantastic way to do it. David Beckham wore a sarong, didn't he? Yeah. And what's sarong with that? <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> He's had that in the 